Hi, welcome to my channel, Crafty Come Lately. I'm going to share with you um, three projects. Um, two are completed, and actually, I guess technically the third one is completed as well. I may decorate a little bit more. Um, the third being the junk journal with the no sew binding. Um, so that will be the majority of the video. And then just a quick little share project. Um, it's the waterfall folio that Ginger, my sister scrapper, has a great tutorial for. Um, and I went ahead and made it. Um, I made it very pinky using the Colorbox Victorian Parlor um, paper pack. And um, I made it alternating like she does um, so that it kind of bounces but yet cohesive instead of six different ones. So um, that is that. And just one side pocket here. And um, I just love it. It's pink with a little green, which I think is the perfect combination. It can be for Valentine's or it could be for anything else. And that's probably the most embellishments I've done anywhere. It could be a little much, but um, I just went for it. So hope that's pretty adorable and whoever receives it will like it. And then um, I've seen this on somebody else's channel and I can't remember now who it is. But I'll uh, find it and put the link below of her tutorial. It's just a, basically a paper bag um, card. And the card would probably go in here. But I'll end up tucking the card in here because I didn't leave enough room for it. And then a couple of extra gifts that you would give them. Um, you know, and these happen to be um, handmade um, little embellishments, but they could be stickers or gift card or little tea bags, cocoa bags, cider bags, whatever they would be, little soap, you know, whatever it would be. So, and it could be in here too. So I think that's the cute idea there. And that's that. And then um, the main project that I'm working on is the junk journal. And it's my first vintage-like, kind of all in one theme, all very brownish, um, kind of, you know, either grungy or whatever. Not grungy, that's not the right word. But vintage-y, antique-y, um, you know, stained. Um, and I did uh, dye with tea. I used the Lipton Hardcore Tea. And um, I will try to do some coffee dyes in the future because I watched a couple of good tutorials for that. But these were all either uh, naturally tea dyed or um, like this, for example, is a tea dye by different kinds of stains. I just soaked. I didn't bake anything. So that's my tea dye. And these are all index cards with no lines So um, and some paper. But the size of this is eight and a half by 11 sheets folded into two. So that becomes five and a half by eight and a half. And therefore my book, my binding book is nine by five and five and a half. And then I added, sorry, I added a half an inch. So it's nine by six. And then my spine, um, I have the leather that I love to use, but I actually found some cute paper. I just bought the one sheet and it's by Recollections. I went ahead and put the sticker here so that if anybody else wants it, um, it's uh, UPC code 8869462321290. It's uh, maybe called Signature Special Handmade Paper. I don't know, it's a 12 by 12 paper. So I thought I'd leave that handy for anybody else. It's um, perfect because it looks like leather but it's paper, so it folds really quick and takes the shape pretty easily. So that's what I use for the binding. And then I am using the hemp twine for the no, um, no sew binding. This I got a Daiso 3 in a pack, but I have seen it with the one pack at dollar spots and things. So basically, since I'm gonna have four signatures, I'm just gonna redo it and hopefully I can do it on camera. So, you're going to start on the spine on the outside with the tip and leave it extra hanging. So just that it's long enough till the end and take it this way. And you're just going to keep rolling it around and it's going to be four times from the inside. So I don't know if that makes sense. So four times from the inside to make sure that there's place to put the signatures through. So now I've got it four times through from the inside. I bring it back up and now I meet this one, the originator, in the middle. 
and then we cross this way and then we tuck it probably doesn't really matter which side but we wind up tucking it and hopefully you can see we tuck it under and then we'll just tie it now this is a good time to make it as tight as possible you just tie it I'm just making a simple bow so I'm going to try and make it so you can see but basically a simple bow and I tied it and that is it so I'll you know cut off some of these ends when I know all is well and done and just want to make sure that the signatures are not hanging on each other so I have to bring the second one over from the third one because they kind of overlap funny so now they look all good and straight stri it doesn't matter that they're straight just that they're one two three four in the proper order this happens to be my first signature and I went up using the signature pack I put them in uh, little file folders that I cut into different shapes so um, but you don't have to have that at all just have to find my center so this is the center of the first signature and we'll just tuck it under the first string first twine and like that hopefully I'm still on camera and we are tucked in somewhere okay here we go something pulling because I didn't I had something sticking out on the first cover and it got strung along with the others okay so retrace first signature done okay then second one some people do it from the back to the front I don't know if it makes a difference this is only my second journal so we'll find the center of the second signature this would be it and hopefully I'll take this out so it doesn't get tangled like the other one did the second string and the second signature will come through and voila second signature there third signature we'll find the center again on this one and I used a lot of different kinds of papers this one is a Daiso notebook that I took apart so third string pull it up and tuck it through and that's that and this happens to be the fourth signature and I kind of like that file folder it really does define what's the beginning what's the end and this would be the center of the fourth and hopefully we'll tuck everything through this of course will be the tightest fit because everything else is already in but I'm sure we can make it okay and like I said before the no tie the no sew uh, binding means that things can be fixed after the fact so nothing like this can go up higher or lower you're not restricted if I said oh this doesn't work out and I don't like something I can take the whole bag out and say okay yeah let's just do something else so I'm you're not tied or restricted to anything or if I found something really cool that I wanted to tuck in there I could do it after the fact so um, I use a lot of bags a lot of envelopes in this one I made some uh, envelopes here I made a lot of tuck spots and different kinds of papers mulberry papers these are the dyed tea dyed again um, some vellum papers a lot of like this is the baker one cute little some printables I use very little printables and this is the probably the only touch of pink or maybe there's two or three other things with a touch of pink but this is from Debbie uh, free printables from her um, ephemera uh, vintage garden so um, those are about it but yeah a little wax paper just different textures um, I might do a flip through on this separate video I don't want to make this too long that way you can see some stuff in there but that's what I wanted to share with you so thank you so much for watching and again this is the the binding um, so thank you again for watching I appreciate it have a wonderful day